Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. You guys know how much I love talking about sunscreen. It's like the easiest way to improve your skin as well as protect your health. In today's video, I partnered with Style Korean to share with you six beautiful sunscreens that are great for dark skin complexions. I've tried all of these for over a month and of course each one of these will get their own time to shine in my Sunscreen for Dark Skin series. So make sure you subscribe and click that bell so you get notified for that. Without further ado, let's get started. All of these sunscreens are 50 plus SPF. They are also PA plus 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 plus. So definitely broad spectrum. And of course, none of these leave a white cast on your skin, which my medium to dark skin siblings will definitely appreciate. <laughs> the first sunscreen is from Mary and May. This is their Sika Soothing Sun Cream for sensitive skin. This product is both vegan and cruelty free, which we love. It does have fragrance listed as an ingredient. However, it is very, very mild and doesn't sting the eyes. I would say that this is a hybrid sunscreen because it's made with zinc, Uvenol A+, Uvenol T, 150, Tinazorb M, and Uzorb Herb. This product features a lot of hydrating, moisturizing, and soothing ingredients like niacinamide, Centella Asiatica, and various leaf extracts. So it's going to be beautiful for redness, calm down your irritated skin, and then of course it's great for sensitive skin. It has a very light consistency and really feels like a liquid lotion when you rub it in. It absorbs quickly and doesn't feel tacky or sticky. Doesn't leave any stickiness or any greasiness on your skin. It actually leaves a skin-like finish. The next sunscreen is the Industry Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. This one is also a chemical SPF. This product has a lot of anti-inflammatory ingredients, antioxidants, hydrators, and great moisturizers, including niacinamide, ceramides, and Centella Asiatica. It also features eight different kinds of hyaluronic acid. This is really good to draw hydration down into the deeper layers of the skin, which is really important when you're in air conditioning, as well as in the winter months in the dry, heated air. This product is a true cream, so it's perfect for anyone with dry or combination skin types, and leaves your skin with a nice, healthy glow without being sticky or greasy or feeling like you have this heavy layer of something on your face. The next sunscreen happens to be my personal favorite. This is the Beauty of Chosun Relief Sun, the Rice and Probiotic Sunscreen. Screen. This one is also a chemical SPF. This product is cruelty free, vegan, as well as fragrance free, which we love. I would say that this one is for dry skin as well, just in the way that it leaves your skin really, really moisturized. Once again, without that thick, greasy feeling. This product has a really elegant, rich, waterfall texture, which is probably why I'm most drawn to it. The real feature of this product is the fermented ingredients. Besides its anti-aging benefits, it helps increase collagen production, it makes your skin more elastic, it fights against inflammation, it makes the texture of your skin more smooth, as well as as it prevents breakouts on your skin. And that's one of the reasons why I love this, especially for my acne prone skin. And of course the rice in this product really helps to soothe irritated skin. So really good for people with eczema or sensitive skin like myself. The next sunscreen is the Tokobo Bio Watery Sun Cream. First of all, this product is sold out like everywhere. The reviews on this sunscreen is out of this world. So I was super excited to finally get my hands on this. As the bottle suggests, this one is a liquid sunscreen, it's a chemical sunscreen as well, leaves your skin really supple with a healthy sheen on your face. This product has a really interesting technology behind it. It has a double layer stabilization. Basically, it has a water layer and an oil layer. It contains niacinamide, sodium hyaluronate, penicillin glycol, which is really moisturizing, um, a various seed extracts and root extracts, which are very anti-inflammatory, and it also has this cotton seed oil, which is supposed to reduce inflammation, soothe your skin, moisturize, as well as fight free radicals. This one does have fragrance listed as an ingredient, but it's not overwhelming whatsoever and doesn't sting your eyes or your skin. It feels like a serum. It's very easy to blend. And then it finishes with a skin to matte finish. So really good for those with combination or oily skin types. The next product is also from Tacobo. This is their Cotton Soft Sun Stick. This one is also always sold out just about everywhere. And with good reason, this one is a sunscreen screen stick, which I have been absolutely loving. If you are someone who needs to reapply your sunscreen on the go with 
without touching your face, then this is the way to go. Sun sticks are the technology of the future. You just spin the bottom here and just rub it all over your face. And it just blends out so nicely. It doesn't really remove a lot of makeup. If you're putting it on makeup as well, it's fine that way too. And because of the shape of it, it's really easy to get in the corners. You can just use your ring finger and just pat in the corner of your eye if you need to. And you go over your eyes and all the little crevices around your nose. It's made to be kind of like a primer type of consistency, which really shows it kind of blurs out your skin a little bit too. So if you have oily skin, you are going to love this product. This one also contains fragrance, but it's a very light fruity or powdery fragrance and it doesn't sting or irritate or anything like that. It's actually a very calming scent. I really like it. It again contains those antioxidants, those anti-inflammatory ingredients, the cotton ingredient that we talked about before, and it leaves your skin with this velvety finish that's kind of almost like you just apply powder on your skin without being like too drying or anything like that. The last sunscreen is the Benton Airfit UV Defense Sun Cream. This product is both vegan and cruelty free. It does not contain fragrance as an ingredient, but it does contain rosemary oil, which is a fragrant ingredient. Rosemary leaf oil is a great antioxidant with great benefits for the skin. So depending on what quantity is in here, it will definitely give you those benefits. I have mildly sensitive skin as well and haven't had any irritation or stinging from this. The scent is not overpowering, it's not overwhelming, and it doesn't sting your eyes. The start ingredients in here are the niacinamide, of course, centella asiatica, panthenol, which is B6, dipotassium, glycerol, the hate, which I'll put on the screen here, which helps to soothe and protect your skin as well as vitamin E, which we love. Yeah, it has a good dose of calming ingredients as well as hydrating ingredients. We love that. It has a very light texture, very water-like. It soaks in really quickly and doesn't really feel like you have anything at all on your face. It gives you the best of both worlds. It's a moisturizer and a sun shield at the same time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I loved sharing these products with you. Big thank you once again to Style Korean for sponsoring this video leave a comment down below and let me know which one you want to see in detail first or if you've tried any of them i'd love to hear your thoughts click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always stay gorgeous stay fabulous and i'll see you lovely beautiful people in my next video bye